Vinova Presence allows to keep the same type of movie making. So you can do cuts, close-ups, uh, the type of editing style as traditional movie making. Or considering that you are in VR, you can also experiment with new things. Weightless, for instance, that is essentially a music experience with a lot of cuts, acceleration, mm -hmm. a lot of very forbidden things that typically they say don't do them in VR, otherwise people will feel sick. The reason why they don't uh, in uh, Vinova Presence is that Vinova Presence allows full display frame rate, uh, uh, which means that for headsets that are 72 frames per second, it does 72 frames per second. Others that are 90 frames per second, it does 90 frames per second. It seems very technical, but that's fundamental. If you want to have objects that are very close to the viewer and you want the viewer to eye track them while moving their head, uh, it's fundamental that uh, everything moves at display frame rate because otherwise you will see the object that uh, creates a judder. And when the object is close by, that can make people feel sick very rapidly, especially if they are not used to staying in VR for very long. You need to have photorealistic environment uh, with cinematic quality at 6K per eye at 90 frames per second, which means in 10 milliseconds, you need to have the type of quality that at the cinema takes hours of rendering to achieve. And that's precisely what Vinova Presence does. So it allows to pre-render with the same uh, engines. Then it can actually make sure that you have this reliability of frame rate uh, and, uh, and resolution. From a creative standpoint, that's the technical geeky thing that allows the creatives to really do whatever they want because it just feels natural. It feels like stepping into a new world uh, that behaves exactly like the normal one.